everybody. My name is Rob Campbell, and I'm here today to present uh, advanced water electrolysis for low-cost green hydrogen. It's great to be here in Rotterdam, and I'd just like to uh, invite all of you to the Canada-Ontario Pavilion. We've got a huge pavilion here at the show, lots of interesting projects and technology to show. We are a public company, so if you're downloading and looking at this uh, presentation later, please be aware of the public uh, disclaimer. Now, next hydrogen, our objective is to provide a solution to connect renewables or low carbon electricity to the creation of hydrogen to the end use markets. And as we know from this conference, the end use markets are very large. Now, I just want to point out that this requirement has been challenged recently by Bloomberg in, a, in one of their reports, their BNAF report, that states that electrolysis systems have not yet proven they can work effectively with variable renewable energy. And what I'm here today to show you is what we've done as our core design, because this is the mission of Next Hydrogen, was to create a solution that does exactly this. It creates hydrogen with variable input conditions from renewable energy sources. So we believe we have the right technology at the right time for the decarbonization using renewable energy. Now, just a very brief overview on Next Hydrogen. We are specialists or experts in water electrolysis with several decades of experience in alkaline and PEM and other technologies. We have a very advanced design, which I'm going to show you. We have scale-up partners that will help us implement commercialization of this technology into critical sectors such as green ammonia, such as transportation and other sectors. As we know, the market opportunities are huge, the need is established, and we have taken the approach of providing directly from an electrolyzer solution all the way through to a complete turnkey system solution should you require it. Now, just a brief shout out to the Government of Canada. Thank you so much to Canada for your support. It's a pleasure to be on the pavilion here. And we just had a recent visit, visit by Christia Freeland, our Deputy Prime Minister. And if you're not aware, Canada is very well positioned with its own tax credit policies to support green hydrogen. And we're very well connected with Europe and the United States through free trade agreements. Beyond those markets, we are also looking to partner. So if you're interested in a commercial relationship, come talk to us on the pavilion. Now, as mentioned, deep experience on the management team with electro electrochemist experience, with alkaline, with PEM experience, everything we need to successfully design and scale this technology. And we have partnerships and customers already in place that are helping validate the technology in the field. Now, AACL, or you know, Canadian Nuclear Labs, already has a contract with us for the second version of our technology. We'll be delivering that next year for tritium processing. We're working very closely with a large Canadian retailer called Canadian Tire. They will be using on-site hydrogen generation for their forklifts at a major distribution center. We'll also be applying that hydrogen for their trucking. Casali is a 100 plus year old Swiss company specializing in ammonia and methanol. And with our technology integrated with their technology, we will be producing green ammonia and green methanol at scale. G. Renova, congratulations to their recent IPO, is our partner for power electronics, a key element of the system solution, and also is helping us with project activity. We've also done work with other customers such as Hyundai Kia. Now, this is what I refer to as the five key things you should be thinking about in looking at your electrolyzer technology. First is the industry needs scaled products. By that I mean very large electrolyzers. Why? Because by scaling the physical size of the system, 
enables us to help lower cost. The technology, as mentioned, must also be suitable for directly interfacing with renewable energy. That means wide operating range, rapid response, and safe operations. Now, the third one is really critical because the cost of electricity is a major component in the levelized cost of hydrogen. So we must be industry leading in efficiency. And the technology also should be future-proofed. We're in a time of innovation and development. And while we're using alkaline today, PEM or AEM or other technologies may be the most appropriate for the future. So we want a sustainable platform that can port to other technologies. And of course, CapEx must be very attractive for the projects. So those are the five key elements you should consider. And I'm just gonna walk quickly through where we are on the technology basis with all of these elements. Now first on scale, what you see here is two versions of our latest generation of technology, what we call a 4K, which is a 300 normal cubic meter an hour system. This system is what we're shipping in Q1 of 2025 to customers. And we're taking that version and we're upsizing it by a factor of six to 1800 normal cubic meters an hour. Roughly speaking, that's in the eight megawatt class of electrolyzer, so very big indeed. And so this size, we believe, can be scaled to any system requirement. And what you see here is a, is a conceptual plant layout where we have electrolyzer trains, that's the electrolyzer module with the associated controls and the power electronics, combined with common utilities such as cooling, and DI water supply, and incoming power supply. So with this configuration, you can have hundreds of megawatts to uh, single digit uh, megawatts. So the solution for large scale. Now I mentioned we need to interface with renewables. So this graph we have to look at carefully, and I'm sorry it's a bit of a test, but the, ones, the line I want you to look at is the, the blue line. The blue line is current. So that's the energy coming in from the wind turbine. And you can see exactly how intermittent that wind power is over time. It's going through wide fluctuations, rapid changes in power output. Now look at the green and the purple lines. The green line is our water column inside the electrolyzer stack itself. And the other uh, purple line is pressure in terms of bars. Those lines are relatively stable within a reasonable hysteresis. That is what you want to see. That stability means we have process control established while we're experiencing tremendous change in variability. So I mentioned safety. For us, safety is paramount. Safety translates to Hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen. What's those concentrations? Hydrogen, oxygen, 4%, you have a problem. So we need to be well below 4%. And what we're showing here on the top is we're varying the current. So you can see excursions, dramatic change in the current. That's, that's really a test profile to test the purity levels of the system. And then stepping it down, stepping it up, and actually going all the way to 2.5% output as a test condition. So that for alkaline, any other alkaline technology out there, they will not do this test because it does not work. With our technology, we have achieved it because our oxygen pure, hydrogen and oxygen purity and both purities are less than 1%. So we meet the safety requirements, typically much greater than 1%. And this is again showing that we're able to deal with that variation in load. Next one is efficiency. I'll just point to these gra this graph. The, the x-axis is current density. So we're showing 
0.2 to 1.2 amps per centimeter squared. Now, traditional alkaline typically caps out around 0.4 amps per centimeter squared. That's the highest current you can put through the technology. The technology we've invented can operate at least to 1.2, and we're working on higher limits in the future. So that gives us a wide range of operability. And by going to 1.2, we can put more energy through the same surface area. That means better unit utilization of the asset helps us with our capex. The other aspect on opex is the slope of the line. The lower the slope, the better. That means it's more efficient across the full range. And again, compared to industry-leading data on other electrolyzers, our technology is much more efficient, even at higher current density. So we have really a compelling value proposition in terms of the efficiency and the operating range of the system. How do we do it? Well, essentially, our proprietary and patented technology combines gas liquid separation and cooling within the electrolyzer module itself. This is the unique and proprietary feature of Next Hydrogen. Now, if you need more details, we've got a very short window to present today, but please come see me on the booth. Now, in, a, in addition, this design is at the unit cell level. Each hydrogen cell, each oxygen cell has the identical operating conditions. So when we add cells, we achieve the exact same performance across each and every cell. That translates to uniformity. In electrolysis, we love uniformity. And we have, again, been able to establish that by this unit cell design. Now, I mentioned future proofing. So our future proofing is relying on this core, call it mechanical design. And again, in the bottom half, we have our electrode. Upper, upper half, we have gas liquid separation and cooling. That electrode and that separator or membrane, we can replace it. We can replace it with PEM. We can replace it with AEM. And in fact, we're now starting a development program with AEM to prototype large-scale AEM as a proof of concept for future commercialization. When I say large-scale, think megawatts. So something that nobody's done before, we're going to do it. Now, we use Alkaline today. We use Alkaline today because it's established, it's proven, and as well, my last slide will talk about supply chain is in place. PEM, in our opinion, is still on the pricey side, so still a bit early to consider PEM. Out AM, from our assessment, needs more work on durability. So again, these two technologies, we don't think are ready for prime time today, and this is why we are commercializing with Alkaline. We get all the benefits without the risks. Now, finally, talk about cost. And on the cost side, because we're, we're working with Alkaline, we're able to leverage the Alkaline industry, which is the major supplier of electrolyzers in the world today from a technology platform. The only challenge with it is they're great for grid connected, they're not so good for renewable energy connected. But all that grid connected systems gives us the supply chain we can apply to our product to deliver the same cost and value points needed for projects. So if you're a project developer, consider this because this is a very important point. So in conclusion, we have large scale, we have wide operating range, high efficiency, and platform flexibility to provide a long-term sustainable solution for your green hydrogen supply. Thank you, and I hand it back to the, to the, to the organizers. Thank you very much.